Imagine a world hidden in the heart of the inhospitable desert. Rain is anger, and a world where the whispers of a long-lost civilization echo that of the little people. This is not a tale from the pages of Tolkien, nor a tale woven from the threads of Gulliver's travels. This is the ancient city of Makunik, a place where history and myth intertwine in the most incredible way. Often referred today as the City of Dwarves, Makunik has been the epicenter of heated debates, fascinating hypotheses, and fascinating stories. From local folklore to academic debates, the stories of the city's miniature inhabitants spark a curiosity that transcends the boundaries of common sense. We are embarking on a journey that will take us back in time, five millennia to be exact. Traveling, we will try to unravel the mysterious past of Makunik, sifting through archaeological evidence, historical assumptions, and hypotheses bordering on the realm of the fantastic. The remains of Makunik are a testament to a bygone era. What secrets does this ancient city hide? Was it really the refuge of a race of dwarves, as some researchers believe? Or is the story more extensive? Location and Discoveries In the heart of Iran, among the undulating dunes of Dashat de Lut deserts, lie the providence of Shaddaf, a place that at first glance looks deserted. But as is often the case, appearances are deceiving. It was here in the arid area that the ancient city of Makunik was discovered, a city that would attract the attention of the world. For many years, Makunik lay buried beneath the sands, its secrets shrouded by the merciless sand winds. It was not until 1946 that this lost civilization began to emerge from its sandy shroud. In a place where no one expected to find traces of ancient civilizations, the Faculty of Geography of the University of Tehran makes a discovery that will rewrite history. It's a discovery that breathes life into a place that was thought to have been devoid of human habitation. The discovery of pottery in Shaddad provides the first signs of the existence of civilization that flourished in the heart of the Lut Desert, a civilization that developed in such a harsh and unforgiving landscape. This baffles researchers. However, it soon becomes clear that the remains of Makunik hold the key to unlocking a fascinating chapter in human history dating back to the late 4th millennial BC, a time when the world was completely different and people were just beginning to leave indelible marks on history. Exploring the City Since the initial discovery, the scientific community has been overcome with curiosity. Makunik attracted archaeologists from all over the world. This nondescript sketch of the desert became the epicenter of one of the largest archaeological expeditions which lasted eight years from 1948 to 1956. This was not just an excavation, but a reclamation process. With the removal of each subsequent layer of sand, the ancient city of Monarch began to take shape. The finds began to tell the story of the city. It turned out to be a microcosm of a fully functioning society. There were workshops and where the craftsmen engaged in trade, Open-air residential neighborhoods paint a picture of the everyday lives of families and communities. Cemeteries have also been discovered, reminding us of the inevitable cycle of life and death. Perhaps the most remarkable discovery was the unearthing of over 800 ancient graves. Each of them bears silent testimony to a life that was lived in a time and place so far removed from our own. Archaeologists dig deeper and deeper and Makunik begins to reveal its secrets. But as it's often the case with such ancient objects, each answer only leads to more questions. Architecture and Lifestyle Upon entering the heart of the city, an intriguing feature begins to stand out. The unique architecture of this ancient city, from the houses to the driveways, from the ovens to the shelves, everything seems to have been designed and built on a different scale one that speaks of a world suited and inhabited by people of smaller stature. In every corner of the city, from the height of the ceilings to the width of the doors, the architecture seems to have been created for residents who would be considerably shorter than the average person today. 
It is the architectural feature that has led many to call Makunik the city of dwarfs. Makunik was a bustling hub of activity, a town where jewelers, artisans, and farmers played their part in the rich daily life. The presence of farmers suggests a landscape that despite the harsh desert conditions has been carefully and successfully cultivated. Yet for all its vibrance and life, there is a mystery about Makunik. At some point in its history, this bustling city was suddenly abandoned. Residents left their homes, leaving behind their belongings as if they intended to return. They sealed all the doors of the buildings with mud and abandoned the city. Why did they leave it? Because of a natural disaster, war, or something completely different? And why did they never come back? Mysterious Departure Houses left untouched and belongings seemingly frozen in time. The story of this sudden departure is shrouded in uncertainty and speculation, but among the emerging hypothesis, one seems to stand out, the evidence of a severe drought. The desert that surrounds Makunik today is one of the driest and harshest places on Earth. Yet the traces found in the ancient city suggest a time when this landscape was thriving agricultural community. A time when the people of Mana, with their dexterous hands, tamed the land and drew life from the unforgiving desert soil. But as we know, the climate can be as fickle as fate itself. Geological records indicate that a severe drought occurred in the region about 5,000 years ago. It was so large that it most likely turned the once fertile lands into the barren desert we see today. Could this be the force that drove the people from the city in their homes? The prospect of dwindling water supplies and failed crops must have been dire. With their livelihood threatened and their survival in jeopardy, the people of Manach may have had no choice but to leave their city and search for more favorable lands. The drought theory is compelling, but it's still just a theory. The real reason for the sudden departure of the townspeople remains a mystery. Controversies and Hypothesis Like any other story that stretches into the mist of time, Minoch is not within controversy and conjecture. The most convincing for now is the hypothesis that gave the city its nickname, the City of Dwarfs. For some, Makunik's unique architecture designed for people of smaller stature is compelling evidence that this city was home to a race of ancient dwarfs. Yet not all archaeologists agree. Some of them caution against jumping to conclusions, saying that even though the inhabitants were smaller than modern humans, that doesn't necessarily mean they were the mythical dwarves we all immediately think of. The debate is further fueled by the discovery of a strange mummy. Smugglers hoping to sell the artifact in Germany have been caught, and the mummy, reported to be just 25 centimeters tall, has been identified as possibly belonging to a 17-year-old man. The news spread instantly, firing the imaginations of dwarf theorists. However, skeptics immediately attacked the artifact. They claim the mummy is too small, even for a dwarf. Furthermore, the soil conditions in the region should not allow the preservation of intact skeletons or mummies. Therefore, they conclude that the mummy is probably fake. Even the city's architecture has been questioned. One argument suggests that the houses which today are only 80 centimeters high were originally almost twice as tall. Over time, erosion and geological changes may have buried significant portion of the city, making the buildings appear smaller than they originally were. According to the research of Dr. Susan Martinez, author of the remarkable book, A History of the Little People, spiritually advanced civilizations around the world, there was an ancient race of miniature people who built their own communities in the distant past and inhabited the earth. She takes into account the legends of folk tales of dwarf gods existing in Mexico and Peru, the Mahuns of Hawaii, the Ninhus of the Cherokee tribe, the African Pygmies, and the Samangs of Malaysia. According to Dr. Martinez, the theory of the existence of ancient dwarfs finds confirmation in numerous archaeological discoveries. Narrow underground tunnels, miniature sarcophagi, low tomb entrances, and extremely small and cramped dwellings. Despite these controversies and conjectures, the true history of the city, as well as the city itself, remains partially buried, which does not help in finding the right answers. Cultural Context Beyond archaeological evidence and scientific conjecture, 
Bakunik's story resonates in cultures around the world. The narrative of the little people is not unique to the ancient Iranian city. It resonates in the folklore and mythology of countless cultures. From The Hobbits and Middle Earth by J.R.R. Tolkien to The Midgets and Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travels, the existence of tiny creatures has been a source of fascination and curiosity through human history. Such narratives are not limited to the realm of fiction. Physical remains of small people have been recorded in various places, such as in the western United States, adding another tantalizing possibility to the folklore. If these creatures could exist elsewhere, why not in the ancient city of Makunik? Interestingly, the saga of the little people does not end in the dusty pages of history. Recent researchers shows that the inhabitants of the Makunik regions are generally shorter in stature and they rarely reach 150 centimeters. Although not as small as the legendary dwarves, who are supposed to have been between 40 and 70 centimeters, this suggests a genetic predisposition to shorter stature among the local population. In the world of archaeology, discoveries often led to more questions than answers, and the ancient city of Makunik is no exception. Despite decades of focused research, many aspects of this Bronze Age city remain shrouded in mystery. Archaeologists agree that the city dates from the late 4th millennial BC, placing it firmly within the Bronze Age, a period marked by significant advances in metalworking, social structure, and trade. Yet it remains a mystery on how a civilization of supposedly smaller stature could have thrived in this harsh condition of the Dashit Ilut Desert and developed such an advanced society. The question remains as to why the city was actually abandoned. Current theories point to a severe drought, but definitive evidence is still lacking. Were there other factors? The sudden departure of the residents who leave their belongings behind adds further mystique to the story. If you like what we do, please support us by telling at least one more person about our channel.